hot temperatures on the way here in West Virginia this week. And something that we talk about when it gets warm outside and we get some more moisture in the air is the heat index. This is how hot it actually feels on the days this week is what it's going to be like. And really, the amount of moisture in the air contributes to this, plus direct sunlight. It can be difficult to cool your body down, especially if you have a warm day outside. So we're in this extreme caution to caution level here for the next couple of days. But later this week, that's when we get heat index values that are closer to 100. And that is some of the hottest summertime weather of the year. That's on the way here in West Virginia. When it gets warm and humid outside, it could also be somewhat dangerous. So definitely you'll want to drink plenty of fluids and you'll want to minimize your outside activities to early in the morning to possibly later in the evening as well when it's cooler outside. But right now, things look good here on your Sunday evening. A few clouds in the southeast Ohio are scattered showers in the Kentucky have calmed down. We may see a scattered shower here in West Virginia as well, but it would be very light tonight with a lot of dry air in place as our first round of high pressure makes its way in from the south. Behind it is all of the heat and humidity. We might get a little bit warmer tomorrow, but still on the sticky side as well, at least to begin off the week. The hottest days of the week are still coming up though. The good thing about this pattern is keeping a cold front to our north, kind of blocking it out from moving into our region. That also minimizes our chances for showers and storms, but there are still going to be a few of them, and we're going to plan them out here on your future cast. So starting off on Monday into the 60s, pretty comfortable in the morning, plenty of sunshine. But by the afternoon, that's when we get our first opportunity for some showers and storms in the southeast Ohio, eastern Kentucky. They will be moving over some of the same locations and also moving pretty slowly. So what that means is there could be a good downpour out of some of these, but they're not going to be severe. In fact, here by 5 and 530, we could have one or two of them here in Charleston. Quick moving, and as soon as they pass, the sun comes back out. So definitely a change in conditions after you have that shower from one time or another, but not a washout. In fact, by 7.30, the picture looks pretty clear. Eastern Kentucky, a shower or two. And then late at night, we look back to the west. A complex of storms, which could be moving towards our region, hopefully will weaken before it arrives, and that's what it should do. But we could have a couple downpours into Ohio and some of our northern counties from Ripley to Parkersburg. That's a possibility here by 4.30 in the morning, and even a few showers early Tuesday into West Virginia. But Tuesday, not a washout either, just a little bit more warm and humid. The afternoon looking good, mostly sunny skies out there, and just a few high clouds as well. Now, if you do see a shower or storm, a good downpour is possible. This projection showing that through Tuesday afternoon, we could have up to a half inch of rain here in Charleston. Again, locally higher amounts where these thunderstorms do set up in the darker green. That's a possibility, but we're not expecting any flooding concerns out of these. Just your good summertime storms out there as well, which could be a little bit soggy. Becoming clear later tonight, northerly winds out there and 88 for your high tomorrow with those scattered showers around. Let's look at the seven day forecast. We get that heat coming in for Wednesday, Thursday, into Friday, maybe 95 degrees, and we could possibly have our first heat wave of the year.